Chào mừng tất cả các quý vị đã quay trở lại với chương trình Em Talk ngày hôm nay Và đặc biệt trong chương trình hôm nay chúng tôi có một vị khách mời danh dự Đó chính là anh Mark Davis đến từ tập đoàn DNA Anh là luật sư và cũng là sáng lập của tập đoàn này Và trong chương trình hôm nay thì chúng tôi xin được chia sẻ với quý vị những cái thông tin bổ ích về chương trình Visa A2 À, nếu như các quý vị đã biết trong thời gian gần đây thì có rất là nhiều nhà đầu tư đã quan tâm đến loại hình visa E2 này Lý do vì sao ạ? Tại vì thứ nhất là thị trường Mỹ là một thị trường mà rất là nhiều người Việt Nam muốn hướng đến cho con cái được hưởng đến giáo dục và chất lượng cuộc sống ở bên đó Và đặc biệt là sau khi mà chương trình à, EB5 chương trình đã tăng tiền từ 500 ngàn lên 900 ngàn và cái thời gian chờ đợi khá là dài từ 5 năm cho đến 8 năm À, thì visa E2 lại có những cái lợi thế rất là đặc biệt Thời gian ngắn hơn, số tiền đầu tư nhỏ hơn Và những cái ngành nghề nó lại linh hoạt hơn Và để được hiểu rõ hơn về visa E2 này Thì chúng ta sẽ cùng được chia sẻ với anh Mark David ngày hôm nay nhé uh, Thank you Mark for joining us for today uh, We have many clients who interested in visa E2 um, So they would like to compare between visa E2 and visa EB5. What is okay. your uh, opinion about this? Which one is better for now? Well, they're different visas, right? The EB5 results in an immediate green card. Right? Yes. After time, in a green card. Yes. The E2 visa is a non-immigrant visa. So the E2 visa entitles you to work in a particular business. However, your spouse can work anywhere they want. Green card, you can work anywhere they want. However, you know, the green card for through EB-5 for um, Vietnam right now is we know at least a seven year delay. The E-2 we can see as fast as probably three months, a little bit faster. So the fastest time on the E-2 is going to be perhaps a little less than three months right now. Um, for the EB-5 it's a seven year delay. Mm. So E-2 is like a non-immigrant visa. So what is the pathway for the client to move to green card? Well, well this is a common misconception with um, E2 visa. Yes. Exactly the same options is for an E2 visa holder. So that basically means if your American business gets big enough, you can apply for a green card through certain means. Or if you have a foreign business, for example, um, in addition to the American business, you may be able to claim the green card as an international executive. So those would be two examples. There's also work-based claims. So your American company, if it's significant enough, could file an application and say, we really need you here permanently as a, on a green card. So those would be three examples of ways in which you can turn an E2 visa into a green card. So you just mentioned that the like, E2 also like is not a new program, right? Right. So how how long it, it had been established, um, and and what is the original, and what is the ratio success for this visa E2? Sure. So yeah, the E2 visa program in a sense is one of the oldest used S visa programs. So the E2 visa program requires there to be a treaty with individual countries. So the E2 program dates back really to the first treaty between countries, which was in 1814. Wow, such a long time. Yeah. And then we saw the E1 visa come into US legislation in 1924. Okay. And it was joined by the E2 visa in 1952. Mm -hmm. So actually, it's not only UK, we also have many other countries like called treaty countries, mm -hmm. like Grenada, yep. Montenegro, and Turkey. Sure. So compared to, you know, between among like three of them, which passport can be more flexible for the client to do the E2? So, you know, the programs are different. Um, Grenada allows you visa-free access to many countries, including China, Russia, European Union, United Kingdom. So that can be a sudden change. The day you get your green, you can have a Grenada passport delivered to you here in Ho Chi Minh City without ever leaving Vietnam. That's and awesome. The day it arrives, you can go to the airport, as long as there's no travel restrictions, mm -hmm. and get on a flight to London or Paris. Mm -hmm. No visa required. On the other hand, you know, there's some advantages to the Turkey program, but the, the, visa, the uh, number of countries you can travel to visa free is not to speak. Um, on the other hand, if you put half a million US dollars, 
in a bank in Istanbul, a major bank like Standard Chartered or HSBC, the account's in your name, and if you keep it there for three years, they give you a Turkish passport. So, you know. That's for sure, but also it things. means like they don't lose any amount of money. They just like, put in the bank account. They get the interest. They got the interest, and then they have another passport from Turkey, and they can apply for E2 in right. very short term, right? But for the total process, like to buy the treaty passport and then apply to Visa E2, uh, how many months that can help them? So, Turkey and Grenada used to be about the same, three or four months. Yes. Grenada, we've noticed in the last couple of months, has come down to 45 to yes. 50 days. So Grenada has, Grenada's the winner right now mm -hmm. in terms of, as we see it, mm -hmm. in terms of processing time. But also, like I know that like Grenada passport also can like help them to bring like their brother, sister, right, right. right? So one of the huge pluses mm -hmm. of the Grenada program is the uh, dependence. For Turkey, it's children under the age of 18. Yes. For Grenada, it's children under the age of 30. Yeah. So those are pretty old children. Mm -hmm. um, also for Grenada, is one, I think it was the first program where you can bring unmarried siblings. That's awesome. So firstly, they need to buy the treaty passport. Second, apply for the E2 visa and bring the investment into America to do a business there. Correct. So what is the minimum amount? I, I heard that there's no minimum investment amount mm -hmm. for E2 and no limitation industry. Is that right? That's true. Mm -hmm. in, in theory, under the law, right? There is no minimum amount of investment for E2. But remember, it's an investor visa. That's so true. The law says that your investment has to be substantial. Uh, you know what, like in Vietnam, right? The US market is still one of the biggest market for Vietnamese investors. And, but the thing is like, they worry when they do like, you know, the pathway through E2, like they need to go through the treaty country mm -hmm. And then after that, like apply for visa E2, sure. which is like non-immigration visa still, not the green card yet. And they wonder about the successful ratio of the visa E2. Can you share about sure. this? So as a firm, we've been doing E2s for about 10 years. Yes. I don't think we've ever had one refused. Mm -hmm. that. So we have talked a lot about the process, about the uh, requirements, and we haven't talked about the benefits oh, of the investors, right? Sure. Because an, unlike an L1 visa, an E2 visa can last the rest of your life. L1 visa, you have inspectors come around to make sure you're at the business, potentially, they randomly the audit it. Um, that doesn't happen with E2. Mm -hmm. E2, you're required to direct and control the business. That requires less physical presence if yes. you want, than, than, than being a hands-on manager. Mm -hmm. Then you have the possibility of not spending. You can have an E2 visa, potentially and not spend half a year in America. Why do you care about that? Because you might be able to legally, legally avoid the responsibility for filing a global tax return. Mm -hmm. Also, you know, if you're in America on an E2, you're treated as someone living in America. Mm -hmm. So your children, for example, can go to the local high school for free mm -hmm. because you're paying it for your real estate taxes. Mm -hmm. America, one of the reasons the investor visa still exists is America welcomes investors and new businesses with open arms. Is any like thing that you still want to advise for the Vietnamese client mm -hmm. during this time? So for a client who wanted to buy a business, mm -hmm. a lot of smaller businesses are for sale quite cheaply. Exactly. Totally so for exactly. someone who wanted to, you know, buy a business that's mm -hmm. distressed. Yeah. Now, distressed meaning it's not making money right yeah. now, but has good long-term prospects, yeah. might be a very good time to buy a business like yeah. All right, thank you very much for joining us for today and we hope that after this like the client have deeply information about Visa E2. Thank you. Thank you.